Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious tortilla soup. So yay, it's finally that time of year, time for soup. I absolutely love soup. That's one of my favorite things to eat in the world with a nice big crusty piece of bread. Oh, just love it. And this is my new favorite. So tortilla soup, we're going to make it just a little bit more amped up. If you see, I have a nice big bowl of kale here. It doesn't typically have kale in it, but we're going to add it to it because I think it gives it a really nice chewy mouthfeel and it just adds a ton of nutrition. So I've got my pan heated up here and we're first going to saute the onions just a little bit. Um, I'm going to put in just a little bit of water, a couple tablespoons of water instead of oil because you really don't need to saute your vegetables with oil. Water works just as effectively. And then there's no fat, which is what you want, right? You don't want it. You don't want all that extra fat in there. Okay, so we're going to saute these for about five minutes until they're translucent. Okay, so while your veg or while your onions are sauteing, preheat your oven to 400 degrees because we're going to have to make our little tortilla strips that are going to be sprinkled on the top of the soup. That little crunchy, delicious bite. So we just need to wait for our onions, and then we'll put in the rest of the ingredients. Okay, our onions are about done. So now I'm going to add our garlic. This is three cloves of garlic. And let that cook just for a couple minutes. And while that's cooking, I'm going to get my pan here. I already have a, a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. You can use a little silpat sheet or whatever you have. And I have four tortillas here. I'm going to save one because that's going to go in the soup. And so I've got three left here and I'm just going to slice them first in half and I'll pile it on top of each other. And then I'm just going to slice it into little strips. Okay. I'm just going to sprinkle it out on your sheet here. This little stir. Okay, get that nice and spread out, and then we're gonna pop that in the oven. And it probably won't only really take, oh, it might not even take five minutes. So you're just gonna have to watch it really carefully until they're nice and dry and crispy. Okay, that looks pretty good for the garlic. Let's set this aside. So now I'm just gonna. Pop my kale in there and let it start wilting down. This is about four cups of kale, or it took it was about one one head of kale from the store that I just destocked and chopped into teeny little pieces. And then we're gonna add next our this is uh, just crushed tomatoes, and I try to make it a point to always buy organic tomatoes for sure, and to get no salt added because most of our re recipes are low salt. Um, you have the option to add salt at the end if you want. Uh, usually we add Bragg's liquid amino acids at the end, and I'll show you that once we're to the end of, the, end of that. Okay. So now we're just going to add the rest of our ingredients. So this is a 28-ounce can of tomatoes, or just two of the size, two of the 15-ounce size cans. And uh, this is the same. This is black beans, no salt added. You can use the salted beans, that's fine. We just like to uh, start out with a low sodium recipe first. And these are kidney beans. And I, I drained off the liquid and I just lightly rinsed them. Okay, and then we'll start with two teaspoons of garlic powder. So yes, this soup has a lot of garlic in it, but garlic is really good for you, so don't be afraid of the garlic. Okay, one teaspoon of cumin. A teaspoon of smoked paprika. A 
and then a half a teaspoon of jalapeno powder. Now this is completely optional. You could also use a fresh jalapeno and maybe just use, you know, le probably less than a teaspoon worth of fresh jalapeno. But you could use more if you want, if you like it really spicy. But I really like this jalapeno powder. So about half teaspoon of that. It just has a really great flavor. And then eight cups of water, which is about two liters. Oops. Okay, we're gonna give that a stir. And we are gonna let this cook down, oh, for about a half hour, okay? So when it gets closer to done, I'll show you. While we're waiting for that, I would like to share with you some of the exciting things we offer here on the show. Our official website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, offers hundreds of our original free step-by-step -step video recipes, as well as tips and resources for everyday plant-based living. For more in-depth learning, we created the 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, which will teach you everything you need to know to successfully transition to a plant-based diet in 28 days. The course includes weekly meal plans and shopping guides, 65 tasty video recipes, and daily learning materials from our most trusted plant-based resources. For big holiday meals, we created the Plant-Based Holiday Feast Made Easy cooking class. This course is an in-depth, two-hour, real-time cooking class where I walk you through making a delicious eight-dish holiday meal that's perfect for Thanksgiving and Christmas-style feast. All of our classes offer lifetime access, so you can take your time and work through them at your own pace and revisit them as much as you like. Our Plant-Based Made Easy community offers our basic free membership that is free for life and is great for staying in the loop and our Legends membership for $15 a month that offers instant access to all of our digital products, including our 28-day course and holiday feast cooking class, our growing line of printable cookbooks, wholesale discounts on our branded apparel and named credit in the show. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay guys, it's been about 30 minutes and it looks amazing. Now we're just gonna add our Bragg's Liquid Aminos. This is just like it's a salt alternative. Uh, you could use a low sodium soy sauce or just a little bit of salt. I like to add it at the end because if you add salt in the beginning of your soups, uh, it tends to just kind of absorb that salt and then you end up in the end adding more. So this is a way to, to kind of cut back on it a little bit. So I'm just gonna add a couple teaspoons of this and then stir it. Come on in for a look. This is just amazing. Smells so good. Oh, wow. Okay, all that's left is for us, I've got an immersion blender here. You just wanna lightly blend a little bit of it. You could scoop a little bit out and put it in a blender and blend it and pour it back in, but it's a little bit easier if you just use an immersion blender. You don't wanna blend all of it, but just a little bit, because that creates a little bit more of a, a thick sauce. This is for splattering. Is all you need just a little bit boy what a mess that is okay so now we get to taste oh I wish you could smell this oh it smells so good mm. put a little bit of our our little tortilla chips here tortilla strips and then we get to taste Oh, that is so delicious. Oh, and on these really cool evenings like tonight, this is so warm and comforting. You're going to love it. I'll see you next time. <laughs>